Hello everybody, so this is Carmen and I wanted to show you guys um, what I made um, with the stickers um, and the stuff that I bought yesterday from Dollar Tree. Um, as you guys know, I uh, kind of specified these stickers to be kind of used in a baby album that I had to make for my daughter's teacher um, who's having a baby boy. So, <clears throat> this is kind of what I did and the paper that I used uh, on this album, and it's an actual album you guys, um, what I did is I uh, grabbed an album that I had because I buy these all the time at the thrift store, sorry about my phone, I buy these all the time at the thrift store for like a dollar, two dollars. Um, so when I do find these like this, I usually will buy them, like I'll have two or three there because I'll make things like this to give away to like my friends and my family and stuff like that. So I had this little one uh, just kind of sitting there and I thought that this would be like a great way for me to, uh, you know, make the album that my daughter wanted uh, for her teacher to have. So I used, um, what's the name of this paper collection? The Primrose Collection, which is this one right here, the Primrose Stack, okay, so I used that paper. I used um, the one sticker, which I'm actually going to ask you guys' um, input on something real quick uh, once I get into the inside. But I used the one sticker. I got these from um, Barbara Alexander. She sent me, well I have one, one of her um, giveaways. And she has sent me all of these little cute uh, die cuts, which are these right here. And I just thought that this one was perfect um, because it matched the bling that I got from the Dollar Tree and it could kind of bring everything together. Um, so I used that sticker there and I just kind of adhered it there. So I'll kind of bring this close up to you guys. I did the dumbest thing ever. I thought that I was recording myself, you know, the process of what I was doing and it didn't record. And since I take the flash off sometimes because um, I knew that I was going to be using things that were going to be reflective. Um... I didn't see the f I, I didn't have that light um so I didn't know that I wasn't recording so when I go to pause the video I'm like ugh pretty much 90% of the process was done and I never recorded a drop of it so unfortunately all I have to show you guys right now is just the result um so what I did is I mixed uh some paint you guys know me and the metallics um, so I mixed um, some pearl white uh, by Deco Art and it's Dazzling Metallics so I mixed some of that with some of this ice blue uh, to get like a more toned down uh, blue color and then I just painted the whole spine and I painted all the edges around uh, the album so that everything is like one uniform one uniform color and then because this album was originally like, like a burgundy um, and a black so I pretty much made it all one uniform color uh, before I went ahead and applied the paper. I measured the book. I didn't um, add any paper to the spine. Sorry about the phone. I didn't add any paper to the spine because I wanted her to be able to open it and close it for many, many years to come. And I didn't want her to uh, tear away, um, you know, at the binding from the constantly opening and closing, which, as we all know, it tends to happen when we try to cover the actual spine. Um, so... I added um, the fussy cut. This is just from Dollar Tree. They sell those little rolls. The bling is from Dollar Tree. This is some of the confetti uh, bag of stars. And look how much stars are in there. And there's three sizes. It's large, medium, and really, really small. So I used that because it kind of matched the paper that I used. And in my mind, I'm thinking like baby registry, so that's why I used this one with the print. Um, plus it had this word, uh, memories, in the bottom, which I thought was cute. This actually has butterflies in the background. The original paper has butterflies in the background, but I didn't want to use the butterflies because it's for a boy. Um, not saying there's anything wrong with boys and butterflies, because there isn't. Um, but it's for a baby boy, so I just wanted to keep it kind of baby themed. Um... And so I just kind of covered that up and I put that die cut there. And then I put this little pop-up sticker, which is very dimensional. And it's got the really thick uh, foam backing. So I did that. Uh, this is from the stickers that I bought yesterday. Okay, from Dollar Tree. And all the little cute stars that I added to that. And then in the back, I didn't add anything. Um, I just added the lace and then 
uh, the little, I, I glued them on because I added some glue to them um, and I stuck those on so that's what this looks like and I'm sorry about my camera it's kind of bugging out I don't know what's wrong with it um, and then this is what I did on the inside since I didn't use the paper to wrap the spine I actually left the paper kind of extended out so that I can create a pocket so with the leftover pieces that I had I kind of just made her a tight little pocket where she can actually like add something in it um, so if she's got like a picture or something it's a little tight <laughs> I might have to try to stretch that out a little bit um, but nothing's been added in there I might add some cardstock or something just to give it a little bit of a bolt out fold but um so I did that and I covered that and this is what I was saying as far as I'm um, painting I painted all the edges all the way around with that uh, metallic paint now what I want to know is should I or shouldn't I um, add some of these stickers on the inside I, I don't even know where to add them I was thinking about leaving it the way it is and just leaving it like that and then I did the same thing this the same kind of pocket for the back hopefully it didn't glue in nope okay I did the same kind of pocket for the back so she's got a pocket in the front a pocket in the back for her to add you know any little uh, you know memory that she wants to save of the baby be it a picture or lock it or or anything and I, I like this one because it's got the space for her to write any information you know that she wanted to write and I kept it kind of plain like that so I didn't really do anything to the inside um, I just kind of made it pretty easy and just cut out the exact dimensions of the paper with the little extension for the flap on the other side to make the little pockets and this is pretty much what it is so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys number one think about this album if this is something that you guys would like to see me do how I kind of alter uh, these kinds of albums I could have made it from scratch but I was running out of time to be honest with you she's been telling me for like a month and you know like a typical mama procrastinated <laughs> so um, it's due tomorrow she's having a I guess the kids are throwing her some kind of a party in the classroom um, so she needed it for tomorrow so I kind of like okay okay and I did this really really quick so let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys want to see me kind of go through this uh, process this is something that you would like to like see me do so that the next time that I go shopping if I find another album that I can do this to I can go ahead and get it and um, kind of show you guys what I do um, you know and stuff like that so and let me know what you guys think about the stickers should I add stickers on the inside the some of these and if so which one is your favorite or no don't add any stickers let me know I have you know to the end of today <laughs> to kind of you know finish embellishing in any way but um so far I'm very happy with it I think it's super cute and I hope it lasts her a lifetime and yeah just wanted to come on here and show you guys Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.